Here I am at the put-in for the Deerskin River. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick up and back, a little bit into Deerskin, then up Blackjack Creek, hopefully to see the springs, and then return back to here. Deerskin has nice sand bottom, good current. So I'm going to have to work a little bit, just a few minutes though, to get up to Blackjack Springs. I'll uh, bash through a few alders on the way. Mouth of Blackjack Creek, so definitely under five minutes to get here. Now the current should be less. I'm more likely to run into some beaver dams. So Blackjack Creek has a lot of just wide areas with lily pads. Here it narrows up a bit, and I'm going through some alders, a lot of spruce and some white pine back in here. Well, I was wondering how long it would take before I got to my first beaver dam that I kind of have to portage. Looks like an easy drag over though. spring water, kind of chilly. Looks to be another beaver dam. I don't know how much farther we have to go to get to the springs. I'm going to bring a map, unfortunately. see it on the camera but this must be the man-made wooden structure that Julie Bennett was asking me about near Blackjack Springs. She did some research and found out it was supposedly around the turn of the 20th century there's some fishing club up here that had some trout raising operation and they would raise trout here. This is, I don't know, some sort of pen or something like that. Well, here is where Garmin's, Garmin's map, GPS map, shows Blackjack Springs. I am, I don't know, just looks like a wide spot in the creek. I don't see any obvious water bubbling up, so not sure if this is the springs or not. Sure, the camera, the wide angle lens and the camera doesn't do it justice, but there's a pretty good hill here that I've been to the top of before, so I'm going to hike up there. I remember it just being a pretty good view. It's like a bit of a bushwhack to get there. But... So here I am at the top of the hill along Blackjack Creek. Get a nice view out over the out over the creek and the wetlands and up here at the top of this hill there's some big red pines somebody's actually camped here there's a fire pit and where i'm standing ground the grass has actually been compressed so it's not that long ago when somebody camped here Fragrant walk down from the hill. Now 
All right, so there's a confluence of Blackjack Creek and the Deer Spring. So just a quick run down to the takeout from here. There's the takeout. Kind of got to pay attention there to go right by. Thankfully somebody holds it. You know, with the big orange bag hanging in a tree. And for the GPS track, it was two and three quarter miles from the spring to here. So two and three quarter each way, so five and a half miles of paddling total. <laughs> 